Hi everyone, this is a second video on the subject of breathing for meditation. Uh, so in this video I'll be talking specifically about the five qualities of breath. Uh, now these five qualities of breath are uh, a way in which uh, you can get your breath to become more what uh, Patanjali talks about in the Yoga Sutras as Dhirga Sukshma, which means deep or long and subtle. So the process of uh, allowing your breath to flow more long, more deep and more subtle. Uh, and in doing that, uh, encouraging your mind and allowing your mind to flow also like your breath, uh, long, subtle and undisturbed, just like your breath. Uh, so, in the previous video, I talked about natural breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, and some ways to train your breath and your body back into your natural breath, your diaphragmatic breath. So, that's really the foundation of all the breathing practices in, in uh, yoga and also the foundation of a good meditation. Uh, and so, these five qualities of breath are really just ways for you to build up on that uh, and to really just deepen your natural diaphragmatic breath and deepen the experience of your breath, allowing you to go more deeply into meditation. Right, so let's then look at uh, these five qualities of breath. We'll go through one by one. So the first quality is pretty much what I talked about in the last video for most of the video, which is the breath being natural, deep and diaphragmatic. Right, so your diaphragm is moving the breath, and as that process progresses and you're breathing in a more and more relaxed way, and more and more of a natural way, your breath will naturally get longer. Now that doesn't mean that you are trying to uh, force your breath to be longer, that you're trying to force your breath to be deeper. On the contrary, if you try and force your breath to be deeper, what tends to happen is that it will become more shallow. Or if you're trying to force your breath to be longer, what tends to happen is that it will get shorter. Uh, you might have a, a, some brief moment of success, but ultimately uh, pushing your breath, pushing your nervous system to try and achieve that usually has the opposite effect. So what it means really is that you're relaxing more deeply, you're relaxing in your body, in your nervous system and in your mind so that your breath just spontaneously starts to flow more deep and longer. Uh, so that's the first of five qualities. Number two, second is silent. So what does silent mean? Silent means basically if you're, when you're watching your breath in your meditation or in your life, if you're sitting in a relatively quiet room, you're just watching your breath, listening to your breath. If your breath is making a noise, so if there's some sound in your breath, fine, no problem, nothing wrong. Your breath is flowing, beautiful, but as you relax more deeply uh, and as your breath flows more naturally, then does that sound start to become a little bit less? Uh, and as you progress, does it become less and less? So eventually, when your breath is flowing very smooth, very deep and very undisturbed, then it won't be making a lot of noise. In fact, you may and not be able to hear any noise at all. Your breath will just be flowing absolutely silent. Okay, so deep is the first one, silent is the second one. Uh, then we move on to number three, which is uh, without a jerk. So smooth breath. So smooth breath means that really once your awareness and the sensitivity of awareness that you have so your breath starts to develop more and more deeply. You may notice that as your breath is flowing, you may notice that there are little jerks, little jumps in your breath. So if you notice that, again, fine. That's your breath, no problem. All of these little jerks and jumps, these little irregularities, they are just little manifestations through your nervous system into your breath manifestations of little disturbances in your mind. That's fine. 
but as you, once again, as your mind starts to relax, as your nervous system and your body start to relax more deeply, and as your mind starts to also flow in your meditation more undisturbed, those little jerks and irregularities in your breath are going to start to smooth out. So they'll be happening a bit less. So eventually your breath is flowing absolutely smooth without a jerk, without a disturbance, right? Whereas at one stage you might have noticed a little in the inhalation, little little jerks in the exhalation, little jerks starts to smooth out. So the third one is smooth breath. The fourth one is even breath. Now even breath means a few different things. In the beginning, uh, it means mainly two things. The first one is the same length of exhalation as inhalation. So if your exhalation is, for example, four seconds, five seconds, whatever it is, your inhalation starts to become the same, starts to match the exhalation. So the two exhalation and inhalation are flowing evenly, right? Now the second meaning of that uh, early on means that there's an even rate of your breath flow. What does that mean? That means that your breath isn't speeding up and slowing down, right? So uh, you might notice as you're watching your breath that it's uh, starting out maybe at one rate, a little bit slow, and then you, as you come to the end of your exhalation, starts to speed up a little bit and then as you inhale maybe you're inhaling slowly and then as you come to the end you're speeding up or the other way around you're starting a little bit quicker and as you come to the end of an exhalation or an inhalation you're starting to slow down so speeding up and slowing down the rate of your breath so eventually again as your mind is flowing more relaxed more undisturbed as your body and nervous system are calming down then that irregularity in the rate of your breath will again start to even out. And so your breath will flow at one continuous rate without accelerating and decelerating changes. Right. Uh, later on, even breath starts to also take on the significance of the breath in both of your nostrils flowing equally. Now that's a sign of uh, another step of progress in your meditation. We can talk more about that later. I'll talk more about that later in another video, probably in the video talking about alternate nostril breathing, uh, the, the practice of Nadi Shodhana. Uh, so for now, even breath, mostly focus on your breath uh, flowing at an even rate and your breath uh, being equal in exhalation and inhalation. Right, so that's the fourth quality. And we have the fifth quality. Fifth quality is continuous breath. So what does that mean? That means that where you might have noticed a pause in your breath before, either a pause in the flow of the inhalation, so you inhale, pause, inhale, or in the flow of your exhalation, exhale, pause, exhale, right? A pause, a kind of unconscious pause somewhere in the breath where you're holding your breath, uh, or other times a pause in between the breaths, in between the inhalation and the exhalation. So you inhale, you pause, you're holding the breath, the breath is holding itself, and then you exhale and pause again. So what continuous breath means is that the breath is flowing without a pause in the breath. So without a pause in the flow of the inhalation and exhalation, and eventually also it means really the reduction of the pause between the breaths. So when there is the end of the inhalation, the beginning of the exhalation flows right from the end of the, ex of the inhalation. And from the end of the exhalation it flows into the inhalation. So that gap in between the breaths where there is usually a moment of pause or the mind going into a state of holding the breath unconsciously. Rather, the awareness of the breath flow being brought through that 
and there being no unconscious pause of holding the breath. Right? So that's continuous flow of the breath. Right? And again, this doesn't mean that you're forcing yourself to try to erase the gap between the breaths. Rather, this means that you're taking your mindful awareness into that transition between the breaths and allowing the sensation of the breath to continue from the end of the, of the inhalation to the beginning of the exhalation, end of the exhalation, beginning of the inhalation, without a pause in your mind's awareness of the flow that is happening with the breath. So all of these five qualities, that's five, so deep, natural, diaphragmatic, one, then silence, two, then smooth, three, then even, four, and then continuous, without a pause, five. So all of these five qualities of your breath are really related to the quality of the flow of your mind's awareness in your meditation. And they're all going to lead your mind to flow more uninterrupted in your meditation. Uh, and now, one probably most important point for all of these five qualities is they're not really something for you to do with your breath, right? They're not something for you to make an effort to achieve. If you make an effort to achieve these very often, what will happen is you'll get the opposite result, right? So rather than making an effort to achieve these, they're really a process of what happens when you relax the effort. Right? So it's a process of whatever tensions, whatever disturbances are there in the flow of the breath and the flow of the mind, as those start to relax, as those start to let go, as those disturbances start to become fewer, and the mind is flowing more and more undisturbed, the breath will be flowing more and more undisturbed. So it's something for you to watch for in your breath, Gently encourage in your breath, but not make a really strong, forceful effort in trying to achieve, because you'll probably find you get the opposite result. Okay, so think about these five qualities rather as signposts on the way of your meditation and your breath awareness. When you notice that Okay, I'm watching my breath. My breath is getting a bit more silent. I'm watching my breath. It's getting a bit more smooth and undisturbed. Wonderful. Means I'm going in the right direction, right? So whatever you're doing, continue doing it. Keep going in that direction. And it's something for you to just watch for and notice in your breath. Okay. Uh, final point for these five qualities of uh, dhirga, sukshma, long and subtle breath in meditation is that uh, probably from the beginning better not to take all five and try to do all five or try to watch for all five in your breath all at the same time. It's going to be too much, your mind is going to get confused and it'll be too hard. So rather than trying to do all five or watch for all five, pick one. Pick whichever one uh, comes most naturally to you, whichever one your mind is most attracted to. Pick that one, watch for that one. See if that one quality, for example, is silent. See if just observing your breath as you relax, as your mind flows in your meditation, observing the sound of your breath and observing your breath slowly, slowly, slowly becoming more silent. As your breath becomes more silent, it will become deeper and longer. As it becomes more silent, it will become more smooth. As it becomes more silent, it will become more even. And it will become more continuous. So the point is pick one and all of the rest will come with that one. So focus your mind, especially in the beginning, on one quality and then later on, as you're watching that one quality deepen, you can notice the other qualities starting to come along as well. Okay, so this has been a video just about that uh, quality of subtlety in your breath 
using those five qualities of breath as markers for just observing what's happening with your breath and mind. And hope it's been useful. Remember that uh, for all the breathing practices and really working with your breath, that natural diaphragmatic and relaxed breath is the foundation and the basis. So if you haven't watched that video, the first one, go back and check it again and uh, wish you a smooth, joyful, flowing breath and good meditations. So thank you very much. See you next time.